That's cheap. You nasty. Hey, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on channel, drop a like, full reaction, full discussion. That's gonna be on Patreon. Links in the description. Black uh, Death Battle reaction is coming up next. What's going on, Nancy Cassidy, man? Behind the camera director here with another Death Battle reaction Black Adam versus Apocalypse. I feel like this fight was already done, but it might have been a DBX. As you guys know, the DBX is by fan vote, so we're not gonna count that shit. In this one, we got Black Adam, the antagonist slash kind of not antagonist to Shazam versus Apocalypse, uh, the DC Universe's worst nightmare. Equivalent to Thanos, except unlike Thanos, this nigga wants to rule. Thanos just wanna take out half of everybody and live a good life. The, uh, Apocalypse is like, no, 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 I'm running shit, bro. I'm running everybody's pockets and y'all gonna work for me and that's how it's gonna go. But, as you can see, you know, he has a whole bunch of heroes in front of him who's trying to stop that. Uh, this fight's an interesting one because Black Adam isn't always necessarily a bad guy, although Apocalypse always is a bad guy. So, I want to see how they're going to make this fight come to fruition and make them bump into each other. Uh, from my understanding, Shazam kind of almost scales with Superman, and Superman has had difficulties with Apocalypse. So, off rip, I'm not going to lie to you, I kinda, I'm giving the edge to Apocalypse, bro. Black Adam will put up a good fight and can really give it to Apocalypse, but I don't think he's going to have enough to do a finishing blow. Now, the only gap in information that I have is oftentimes when Apocalypse loses, it's because he gets jumped, right? I don't, I can't, and I'm sure it's happened, but like I said, my DC knowledge isn't always the best, but it's very rare I've seen Apocalypse lose in it just straight up 1v1. And with that being said, I also don't know enough about Black Adam to know what he has over Shazam or what experiences or other things he might be able to bring in that could give him an edge on Apocalypse. So just based off of the information I have both of them, I'm going to say Apocalypse is going to take this one. And I think, and I don't want to say it's going to be a close one because I don't have, an, I don't have the confidence to say it's going to be close, but I'll, I'll be looking, I'll be paying attention to this one to see what, what do I hear that's a potential weakness or power that's going to give uh, Black Adam the edge over Apocalypse. Because I really, from what I know, I truly believe Apocalypse just has this in the bag. Like, he just got it, bro. He just got it. Like, come on. He got it. With that being said, listen, we're going to jump into this. If you have made this fun, you haven't already, drop a sub, drop a like. Whole thing's going to be on Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, I'm on Twitch every Monday and Friday night. Pull up for reactions and gaming. Uh, if you see my videos on your homepage, make sure you click on them. It helps me grow in the algorithm. Really helps the channel to get bigger. Uh, and I appreciate that. I really do. Uh... Black Adam vs. Apocalypse Death Battle is coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. You've heard of Gotham, the Mascara, Metropolis, just a few of DC's unique tourist spots. But there's another. South of the Mediterranean Sea and north of the Sinai Peninsula rests the sovereign nation of Kondok. While those Kondok. Superman and Batman solving crimes like it's magic, Kondok's got an actual magic man saving him, Black Adam. Long ago, Teth Adam and his people were enslaved by the conqueror Evok and his army of barbarians. Evok the first? Was his okay. Amon. Upon fleeing certain death, the two stumbled onto the Rock of Eternity, a mystery <coughs> that has defended magic since the dawn of time. Here, the two earned an audience with the Mail, Lair's master, six the foot one ninety eight Council of Wizards. Seeing the purity in Little Amon's heart, this wannabe Gandalf decked him out How's with his magic. brother was Cyrus. The nice guy he is, Amon shared some magic power with his uncle. Spoiler alert. Not his best idea. They returned to Kondok to free their people, but their methods reached an impasse. Amon wanted to use his powers to resolve matters in a peaceful fashion. However, Teth Adam desired vengeance, emancipation through slaughter. So Uncle Teth sat his nephew down, man to man, looked him straight in the eyes, and then freaking killed him. Then used his borrowed power to steal the rest of the super magic. You know what they Damn. say? No nephew, no problem. With the full might of the wizards at his fingertips, Black Adam annihilated the barbarians and freed his city. Suffice to say, he's not exactly your typical hero. Even the superhero A-listers don't try him, and for good reason. K-Mark Merlin here didn't give Adam some nerdy wand. K -Mark but that Merlin. dope shit, the living lightning. While it may function just like real lightning, this living Jesus. lightning is among the most potent spells in comics history. It's magic. Really? Lightning. You ever see normal lightning <clears throat> start a giant's heart and juice up the flash? Because Black Adam's lightning did, and activation Damn. is as easy as saying the magic word. The parts of Shazam know that, oh, magic spells really know that, yellow lantern ring, oh. Remember, uh, I didn't know that. This is <clears throat> 
the mightiest of the wizards. To better protect the multiverse's magic, he promotes individuals to be his mythic champions. Black yeah. Adam is one of the first. So kind of like Shazam with another name. I like my idea better. Shazoo! It really lets you know you gotta be quiet Shazam like when you're in a zoo or, you know, the animals will f***ing kill you. Wait, is that not a real thing? Can I talk at the zoo? But when Ted Adams Daddy. shouts his magic word, lightning pours from the clouds, transforming him from meager human to a lightning transforms are especially verbal simply commands. Put, Black Adam is imbued with the powers of God. Well, gods, plural, as his gifts come from multiple mythological legends. At first, no, we know that. From the Greek gods, Zeus, Atlas, Herc, you know, all those buff guys and gals. But it didn't really work out, though, because he kind of died. Yet Kondok craved for their hero's return. So Black Adam's most devoted followers collected all of his ashes and prayed their hearts out. This time, to their own pantheon. Goodbye, muscles, and hello, bird people. Black Adam was reborn, now with the powers of the Egyptian pantheon. Damn. Gods like Shu, Amun, and Horus gave Adam the basics. Super strength. That's an interesting and turn, and bro. Body. But the real magic's with the other three. The power of Aten channels the living lightning throughout his entire body for combative purposes. And the wisdom of Zahuti improves Black Adam's strategic thinking. It's a council of knowledge. Facts. I like that. On how to defeat his enemies. Like, for instance, when evil Joker Batman drove Billy mad, Billy went all King Shazam on Kondak. But guess what? Zahuti had Black Adam instinctively lead Billy into a trap to destroy his hands with the power of Sunday prayers. Hallelujah. Damn. Holy shit. And finally, the courage of Mahen. Besides minor healing and resistance the wisdom. to attacks, Mahen's power granted Black Adam an indomitable will. It's got him through oh some really rough patches. His family? Dead. His country? Wasted. His wife got revived? She turned to stone. You can knock him down, sure. What the hell? Stay in there. Damn, the college, the courage and wisdom is serious. The whole world can turn against him, but he would not care so long as Kondok is safe. To reach those ends, he's partnered with the Justice Society of America, the Society of Supervillains, and even the Justice League. Rubbed elbows with Superman one day and Lex mm. the next. So, uh, is Black Adam a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, That's always the, the question. That benefits his people matters. He's not concerned with morality, and his the moon is frequently misunderstood. Towards the specter, the entire JSA Hawk jumping him. Twice. And they Four, still couldn't check him. Society, Adam just dang. built that different. Black Adam caused sandstorms with a single clap, pushed the moon, and killed the four horsemen of the apocalypse. One Push time the when moon. space cultists came and knocked it on Earth, he fought side by side with his best bro, Sinestro. Afterward, when the yellow lanterns dipped and took their rings with him, Sinestro let Black Adam keep the one he got. Now that's a bromance. And can I just say, Black Adam makes a mean lightning tiger. He murdered the Council of Wizards and later endangered Mamoragan himself. And Jesus. the Almighty Wizards are part of the Quintessence, basically DC's gods who watch over the multiverse. No surprise, yeah. since Black Adam effortlessly broke well, Spectre's body, another Quintessence person sure came up battling he's torn off Hawkman's wing and tried to kill Wonder Woman, but through the eyes of his people and loved ones, Black Adam is a hero. A moment's gaze from their idol is all they need to carry on living. So invaders beware, no one's truly safe Damn. from the true savage. So so Black Adam, with his ma the magic lightning, is the one thing that might give him the leg up over Apocalypse. But I just don't see it being enough. One of my favorite graphic novels. It spells the end of all days when madness reigns supreme and order is shattered. Mounted upon white Wait, is Apocalypse Marvel? Pestilence and famine bring about a world anew. It gets dark oh, and God. shit like literally, and I'm there for it. Are you talking about the Bible? What? No, this is a Marvel comic. Five thousand years ago in Marvel comics, Apocalypse is Marvel. Oh, I'm thinking of Dark Side. Bro, I was thinking of Dark Side. This is Apocalypse. I was thinking of Dark Side. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm stupid. He was a demon, like a mix between Great Value Thanos and a box of chalk So they midnight dumpster baby his ass in the desert to die. Luckily, Ball of the Crimson Sands tribe saw differently. Within this child, he saw a conqueror. He raised him as En Saba Nur, the morning light. And above all, he taught him one major lesson. Only the strong survive. Nur became a warrior, the same as his peers, but his physical differences made his experience unique. He was stronger, smarter, and hated. Even to these people, he various. was an outsider. Then the pharaoh killed Damn. Ball and enslaved Nur. Dude had no one left on his side except for this chick who he had a thing for. But everyone he meets apparently just wants ugly people to die, even when he saves their life. She had just swiped right, girl. God damn. And so he uh. embraced the perceived truth. If he was a monster, he would prove it. Betrayed by all and respected damn. by none. If no one would care for En Sabaneur, they would all fear Apocalypse. Long story short, he's a mutant. And not just a creepy looking dude I fuck like with me. it. Uh, uh, Fortune uh, uh, made like a structure. Uh, uh, 
Anyway, Celestial technology. They're on a whole other level. He has inhuman physiology and intelligence, along with complete control over his molecular structure, allowing him to reshape and mold his body however he pleases. Yeah, but I guess he's too proud to just like turn himself into Jason Momoa or something. With the combination of his not so screwed tight brain. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Apocalypse conquered Egypt, leading it into a prosperous age with an iron fist and an ocean of blood. He then set an his sights on blood. the very world itself. Just one problem. The world had a bunch of X-Men and Avengers running around stopping his world yeah. domination. To accomplish his big dream, Apocalypse needed something more. But that would all change upon the arrival of a certain mutant messiah. Okay, uh, so first, Apocalypse found some space tech that belonged to Celestials, basically Marvel's gods. Despite yes. his amazing potential, he wasn't able to make use of the technology until the time traveler Cable showed up to kill him. Instead, Fucking Cable, Cable accidentally infected Apocalypse with a techno-organic virus, a disease that turns organic matter to futuristic technology. Turns out, this is exactly what Apocalypse needed to access the Celestial tech. With the promise that he would repay the Celestials later, he was bestowed a gem that would change the game forever. This is a Death Seed. A celestial artifact with the purpose of leading Earth into a higher evolved form. By injecting a death seed into someone, they are transfigured into one of Apocalypse's horsemen, a being of incredibly fatal power. Don't forget about that techno-organic virus either. Controlling the virus means controlling all technology with your mind. Cable Jesus. couldn't save it, but Apocalypse's power is so vast, he had no issues controlling it. So take a god pyramid, add a super tech virus, multiply the X gene, and what do you get? An Apocalypse who is unrecognizable from his meager past. With these three Jesus, under his command, any bro. superpower you can think of is now at his disposal. Apocalypse can Legitimately. All sorts of energy, turn invisible, regenerate limbs, read minds, and freaking fly. Look at him whiz! He's got his hands behind his back and he just doesn't give a shit. And most impressive is his ability to siphon energy. He wants to Cyclops a laser with his bare hands. The same laser that can split I hear that. It wasn't long before the virus incorporated technology into his molecules. With mere thoughts, he could construct big bodies, entire robot armies, and even morph himself into a kaiju. At his peak, virtually no he one said stands so a chance. Kaiju. On a bad day, Apocalypse bodied six of the strongest X-Men in a minute. His telepathy alone contends with Jean Grey, one of the greatest Damn. psychics in Marvel. He's out-muscled and out paced both Hulk and Thor. And we all know how crazy those two are. We're talking about heroes able to destroy the Marvel Universe. And in an alternate timeline, Apocalypse even slaughtered mm. a celestial with his bare hands. His bare freaking hands! Wow, way to pay him back for that solid they did you, bro. With that Death Seed in tow, it's hard to attribute Apocalypse as anything but a force of nature. Especially when said Death Seed has mutated beings capable of fighting the Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity in the, the primal Phoenix force, force of life. In fact, Doctor Doom claims the Death Seed is directly comparable to the Phoenix itself. So Jesus. Many, so many bodies. Apocalypse is an agent of war and has the scars to back it up. And even when someone manages to take him down, so long as he's got blood, metal, and that Death Seed, he'll just keep coming back again and again. And again, Ball would be proud for what is more inevitable and more dramatic to the annihilation of humans mm. than the apocalypse himself. All right. Okay. So straight up, I made a couple of errors, right? First off, I called, I was thinking, I was thinking of Dark Side when I was talking about apocalypse. That's stupid old mistake number one. All right. I see that now. Completely dumb on that one. Number two, I'm still sticking with Apocalypse over freaking Black Adam. Why? Because from what I'm hearing, Black Adam died, was able to come back, but it was only through prayer and uh, reinvigorating his power from the Egyptian gods. Dark Side can also come back. Uh, Apocalypse, oh my God. Apocalypse can also come back, right? But all he need, he needs less things. And what I'm hearing is, as long as there's a little bit of his blood left, he can reconstruct himself. I don't know if Black Adam has enough to knock him out. Even with the magical lightning, I don't think it's going to be enough. Combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Yeah, I'm sticking with Apocalypse, although I try to call him a different name. Fucking dark side apocalypse. Come on, bro. I'm disappointed myself. So we'll see if the courage and wisdom will give him enough to beat Apocalypse. 
Yo, his eyes are bulging. Damn. Is that the seed? Did he pull the seed out or no? Uh, that's cheap. That's cheap. They gave him the ring. Okay. Get the hell out of my country. Oh, he's in his country. Wait, is that not real? Okay, that was a handy ass something. Okay, yeah, we got another one right. I was sure for a second. That's gotta be like what, thirty whole dollars? man. This result surprised us. For what it's worth, both really? and Apocalypse displayed ludicrous levels of godlike ability. Both I agree. Power supplies compared to cosmic beings like the Phoenix and Super Gandalf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But heroes like Thor and Wonder Why were you guys surprised though? I'm actually surprised. Like speed alone. Rather, it depended on how their abilities countered each other. In that okay. Regard, Apocalypse held many advantages. Yeah, starters, the machine stuff. The living lightning. For almost any power Black Adam had, Apocalypse had a better version of it, and then some. Frankly, half of Black Adam's pantheon granted him abilities that Apocalypse possessed through his mutant genes alone. Okay, that makes sense. From Celestial Tech, that's why it says not come down. Percy, that's why it says not come down to courage and wisdom. Didn't. The wisdom of Sahuti, big brain god, could definitely clue him in on that Death Seed stuff. Yeah, that's Nothing. what I saw. Apocalypse would not have fared nearly as well against Black Adam's strength and tenacity. Okay. So to win, Black Adam would have needed to figure out how to destroy the Death Seed, but Apocalypse could defend against that and had way more options for his own victory. Facts. He got the best of Jean Grey, and there's no reason Apocalypse couldn't mind read Black Adam. The courage of Mahen may have safeguarded him from mental attacks, uh... but it never made him immune to telepathy outright. See? That's but what I was going to say next, right? I was going to say the wisdom and the courage was going to be able to stop any mental attacks, right? But they cleared it up. They're like, yeah, you could resist, but you can't defeat it. Especially a Jean Grey Phoenix level of mind control. You're not going to get away with that. Plus, it's been shared between people many times before. And the more it's given to other hosts, the weaker the original bearer becomes. Hell, stealing the power of the Living Lightning is how Teth Adam became Black Adam in the first place. True, so bolstered more strong strength, wisdom alerted of the Dead Seed. That was good, less versatile. Dead Seed, far away from Black Adam without his Dead Seed, wasn't Black really unveiled his weakness. That's what I thought. I think he did grab the Seed, but there's nothing Black he could Adam do about it. Been power incarnate, but Apocalypse's wide <laughs> array of powers and specific counters to the Living Lightning meant he could rise to the challenge. Teth thought he had him until Noor gave him the boot. The winner is Apocalypse. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be Apocalypse. Thank you for watching. Next time. Trunks versus who? Silver. Okay. That was Black Adam versus Apocalypse. 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 Versus Apocalypse. 
from the Marvel Universe, not Dark Side. Like my stupid ass thought. Oh my God, I can't believe I made that massive error in the intro. But this is real life and people make mistakes. And I already know people are gonna roast me in the comments. Go ahead, get your roasting out. At least I came to my realization that I picked, I had the wrong idea of the wrong person, but I knew who they meant. I hate it. I hate it here, but it's okay. Listen, we was right anyways. Whether Black Adam was fighting Dark Side or Apocalypse, they don't matter. They Apocalypse took the dub. Um, I really thought in my mind, from everything that I heard, it sounded like body wise they're pre they're pretty evenly matched. The real big differences was wisdom and the courage for Black Adam, and it was a technology and a death seed for Apocalypse. And also, especially when you hear that Apocalypse was able to go toe to toe with the Phoenix, not just Jean Grey, with the Phoenix. And also was able to dis, 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 disperse or absorb Cyclops' eye blast. It kind of told me that like even though the magic lightning is a massive deal, I now see why Black Adam is such a hard, hard, hard matchup for Superman. Because Superman is weak against magic. Magic lightning, ooh, that's going to fry your system, boy. So now that makes sense whenever, whenever people are like, Yo, well, Black Adam and Superman, they, they could clash and throw hands. And Black Adam can keep up. That's why nobody could check him. It's like, no, you're right. It's a massive deal. But against Apocalypse, Apocalypse is a mutant known to absorb all kinds of energies and powers anyways. And just like they said in the death battle, he had a counters or equivalency for anything that he could throw at him. Uh, it was the death battle itself. Can I be real with you? I like this. I like like so. Okay, I'm just gonna talk objectively. This death battle was oddly short, and the I, the environment building. I see what they're trying to do. Um, it's a little rough, but it was kind of dope. I didn't quite like the mix of the of the models with the environment. I. I <sighs> I don't know, it just just felt weird. The choreography of the fight was good though. I like how they had the progression and everybody get out their powers and even they covered it. He got the death seed, but it just wasn't enough. He literally ripped his arm out of him, took the death seed right back and went right back to A-Town stomping him. Um, the choreography was good. The environment, didn't really like it. Um, the, um, the animation was eh. Uh, the, the 3D block models into the hand drawn models on this one was a little, it was a little clunky, you know, it was a little. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm gonna give this death battle, I'm gonna give this one like a 6 out of 10, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I, I, uh, with that being said, we're gonna end this here. If you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub, drop a like, whole things on me on Patreon, link is in the description. Uh, if you see my videos on your homepage, make sure you click on them. Uh, it helps me in the algorithm. If you wanna catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday night. That link's also in the description. I'm a man behind the camera, and as always, stay nasty, y'all. You nasty.